We're halfway through the 1200 nautical mile crossing to Tonga and battling 30 knot winds, big and uncomfortable swell and some not so nice weather. The wind that gets in my face, it's blowing me off course. Well excuse me, could you help me? Though I don't know your name, yeah. I just need someone to help restore my human faith Let me inside again Whoa. There's no reason for this feeling No need to fall apart No reason now There's no reason for this feeling No need to have a broken <laughs> you vomited? Yeah, you vomited off the side. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I changed films. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. But now it looks and feels like a million bucks. Woo! Well, I didn't know that. We had a seasick person on board. It was pretty, pretty shit waves. Uh, and the wind was gusty in 35 knots. And, um,. Well, it wasn't just waves, the sea state was just horrendous coming from all directions. So everyone was feeling a bit grim. Um, but we seem to be past the worst of it, and uh, the waves are dropping, and the wind's dropping, and the sun's starting. So happy days again on latitude adjustment. People are even eating. state calming down somewhat. Um, we've managed to pull out another couple of meters of jib um, to try and keep our speed up and above eight knots to get those miles uh, under her keel. Uh, so yeah we've still got the same sail configuration of three reefed main and the jib pulled out and the stay sail up and we're going along at kind of 7.8 to 8.3 knots to be precise <laughs> and the distance we left what we were in Malpiha or Malpiti? I think Malpiha. Malpiha the, the total the total distance from our second stop um, Malpiha to Tonga is 1,100 nautical miles um, and I think so far we have completed, hang on, let me figure it out. So we've done a total of 505 nautical miles um, from Mount Peter, which means we have a total of 645 to go. Almost halfway. So this beautifully coloured diagram here um, that I have downloaded through Predict Wind as part of our forecast. Um, shows kind of why we've been having the weather that we've been experiencing with the wind and the waves. Uh, and as you can see, here's New Zealand, um, here's French Polynesia up here, and this is Tonga where we're headed. Um, so this big high has just been slowly moving its way east. Um, I feel like a bit of a weather woman here. <laughs> and uh, the wind has been compressing um, up the northern here with the wind coming down from the equator. So yeah, we've just been following it across, um, heading west as much as possible, and then eventually we'll kind of drop off the back of it and be able to head south towards our intended destination. Just for interest's sake, um, this is the end of the week coming up. Um, you can see the highs moved right over here to the east, um, and our route that we've taken over the last week or so, you can see has a lot nicer conditions, so there's a lot more yellow and green in there, and a lot less red. Moral of the story, maybe we should have stayed in French Polynesia for another week. What's Chef Eddie got in the making here? 
I'm making some falafel balls. Mm. I want to tell you that I need you, need you. I can't keep it to me. With the sea state settling down, we were much more able to whistle away the afternoon with games, naps, and anything else entertaining. Sailing off into the sunset. Three hundred miles to go today. Um, the finish line is almost in sight. Everything's calmed down a lot. Um, the sea states smoothened out. The wave heights dropped by at least half. Um, and the wind has been a steady kind of 15 to 18 knots for the last day or so. So we've decided this morning to put the fishing lures back out because um, if we catch a fish we might actually be able to deal with it. And we're also going to put the spinnaker up. So the boys are out there now sorting that out. Like a lifetime, it's only been one day since I saw you in the distance down the road. I said, Hey, yeah, you pretty girl, what you doing? Just come and play. We have now got uh, how many knots? I can't read it. Six knots. Six knots of breeze. Um, so we have pulled down the spinnaker. Uh, we, five minutes later, pulled down a horrendously flapping mainsail and we are now pointing straight towards Tonga. And the sea state of the 25 knots we had a couple of days ago still hanging around. It's still following us, so we're rocking side to side, um, but we're on course to our destination and we should arrive in the next day or so. Good morning. Yep, there's still motor sailing on quite nicely. Um, the sea state's coming down with every hour that we keep going west. Um, just wanted to show you the amazing hue of the sky this morning. The sun hasn't quite made it to the horizon yet, but the blues are just absolutely beautiful. Never believe in love at first sight. But when I saw you, I felt something, and now it felt right. So it's our last night shift tonight. It's been a fairly long week, considering the weather we had at the start uh, and our water tank situation. Um, but now I've got less than 100 miles to go. Bonus of being the captain, uh, we've decided to change the shifts tonight and do three on, three off, so we get to hang out together, which is a nice change. So we've just crossed the international date line um, and we have lost an entire day, so so long Friday, hello Saturday. To celebrate, we're having a little date breakfast. Hey Tonga, fancy seeing you here. First time since we arrived in the Pacific um, that we're changing our flags. So going from the old French Polynesia flag to Tonga. And of course our handy dandy quarantine flag. As I check, I'm incorrect. It has the opposite effect. Seems I'd live my lifetime in a day. So arriving here in Tonga is quite a momentous occasion for Sarah and I. It's our last country we stop at for New Zealand. And 
means we're pretty excited and made the most of it. It's the next quarter's home. At the moment, Tonga looks very different to what we have seen so far in the Pacific. It's uh, very steep cliffs, very green. Doesn't seem to be a huge amount of coconut trees, and a darker shade of blue of water. Uh, we haven't seen any sandy beaches yet, but hopefully we'll see them soon. We know they're here somewhere. The big city of Tonga. Whoop whoop. Go do the rounds, check out all the other boats that are here. The only certainty is death. Nothing would amuse me, nothing keeping me afloat. But to think I'd hold a golden ray. I'd spend my time just staring to the east out from my boat. Hello, hello. Until my head was old and grey. Moments gone and memories 